Hi, everybody. Our parish has recently taken the significant step of upgrading our database platform. The new platform, called ParishSoft, will help us to reach out more effectively to our whole parish community and also enable you to more easily manage your information on file with us. Once you create your ParishSoft account, you'll be able to update your personal information and easily register for parish events and activities. Importantly, if you do wish to register your children for faith formation classes, you will need to create a ParishSoft account. We'll be conducting all our faith formation registration through ParishSoft going forward. In this quick video, we'll walk through the steps for creating your account. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email our office at contact at isadorandmaria.org. And one more note before we get started. In preparing to open the system to new accounts, we've combed through our entire database and tried to make sure that all the information is up to date and accurate. If you do find errors, apologies. Please make the necessary corrections. Thank you very much. All right, so let's have a look at how to create your account in Parasoft. All right, everybody. So here we're going to take a walkthrough of how to set up your account on Parasoft. You'll see the address, uh, I'll put it up on the screen here, is hartford.parasoftfamilysuite.com. So just enter that address. Uh, this is also in the description of this video and on the uh, relevant page of our website. And when you get there, go up here to New User and click that. This will take you to the New User Registration form. Uh, here, there are three steps. Uh, step one is to identify your organization and your username. So your organization is the parish, St. Isidore Maria, Glastonbury. And your username should be at least five characters. Remember, it is case sensitive, so it tells the difference between uppercase and lowercase. Uh, and it should not have any spaces, so it should all be one word. When you've entered all of the information, you're good to go. So click Submit Registration and make sure that you agree with the Terms of Service. And here we are. All right, so you will now receive a message at that account. Let's go take a look at that message. So here you can see uh, the message that you will receive as a confirmation that we've received your request. Uh, we need, as staff, to go in and confirm um, this information, uh, which means we need to connect it with your entry in our current database uh, or to create a new entry if you're not yet in our database. Uh, so it will take um, probably one day, uh, up to three days, uh, for this to be done, and we appreciate your patience. So what I'll do now for the purpose of our demonstration is go in and uh, actually approve that, uh, and then we'll have a look at the email you'll receive once it's approved and what to do at that point. And here we are back again. So that account has been approved by me, um, is Sue Test, and you'll see that you uh, received an email here with your username, the one you chose, and a temporary password, very simple password. Uh, and when you uh, log in, uh, you'll be prompted to change that. So let's try that now, logging in. So here we are. You'll see I've entered our username, and now I'm going to paste in the temporary password that I received in the confirmation email and click login. 
Uh, and here, it's important uh, that the password uh, contain some numbers. So let's see, I'm not going to use this. Uh, we need six characters minimum, and it needs to contain two numbers. I clicked Submit, uh, and my permanent password is now ready to be used. Good. Uh, so I will click here to log in and access information. So we'll put in the new password. And now we're prompted to uh, agree with the terms of use and to allow cookies, which is a standard way on the Internet for a website to remember you when you return. So here we are inside Parasoft, uh, and I want to highlight for you here just how to update your information. So you want to click on My Family here, either in the tab or under Quick Links. And then when you get to My Family, you will see a blank screen, but fret not. You can go up to Family Detail, and this is going to give you your entire record in our database. So you'll see we have uh, the last and first name, uh, the email address associated with this. You can add in other information. You can update your mailing address. Now from here, you can click on Member Details. And this will allow you to update your own information. Uh, but also, you can add information uh, for other family members. So here, if you click Add, for example, you can uh, enter that information and then click Add the family member. I don't want to do that right now, so I'll click Cancel. Uh, but let's say I want to update um, my middle name. I can click down here to Edit Details. And then from there, go to Middle Name and add that information. Um, there are lots of other things you can add here, too. Thank you very much for doing this. It keeps us able to be in touch with you. And it's a big step forward for our parish uh, and a big step forward in convenience um, for all of our members. And so again, if you do have any questions, please reach out to the email address on the screen. Uh, we'll be glad to walk you through the steps. And as always, thank you for your commitment to our parish community.